To add in a product that isn't on ESP, Distributor Central, or Sage, you can do that by going to the Add and then Product section. At the very top, everyone will have a Company tab. This Company tab is completely internal to you and your team. If we click on that tab, you see that we can upload custom products here. To upload a custom product, you just click Add New Product. Once we select that, you can fill out basic product details. Now this is typically used if you buy products from a vendor who is not listed on ESP, Distributor Central, or Sage. You can upload their products into Common SKU. Or if you buy a product from one of the major vendors and it's not listed on one of those databases, you can upload a product for that vendor here as well. The basic details are along the left. So we have the supplier here. So we have to select what supplier this product is from, put in the item ID number, the name of the product, the product description, and upload a photo. You also have the option to add in additional details, so things like sizes and colors, imprint methods, and you can also add in pricing columns as well. Once you've added that product in here, it will add it into the presentation that we're working on and save it inside of your company tab, so you can just select it later. Your other option here is what's called previous orders. Previous orders is a way to pull products from old presentations, estimates, or sales orders onto the form that you're working on now. You can see that the presentation that we're working on right now is for Average Joe's, and if I click where it says Order, it actually shows me every presentation that I've ever done for Average Joe's. I can click on one of those presentations and hit Search, and it will show me every product that was on that presentation. I can then click on those products, and it will pull them from the old presentation along with whatever pricing was on that old presentation onto my new one. Now if I can't remember what presentation a product was on, I can actually also just type in a term like beach ball and hit enter and it'll do a live search through all of the presentations created for Average Joe's for any items that have the word beach ball in the name of it. Again, I can click on those items, that will add them in, and once I'm happy with the items that I've selected, I can click close and they'll be there in the order that we selected them.